Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you three different looks with the Sultry palette by Anastasia. It's a great palette, so I'm really excited to uh, give you guys some inspiration um, on how to do these looks on yourself. Um, these are more evening, date night, uh, going out sort of looks, but if you do wanna see daytime looks, I have a video that I will link below. So this is look number two. So if you do like this look or um, any of the looks in general, let me know which is your favorite in the comments below. And if you wanna support me giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel always helps. So we will get started right now. So I already have eye primer on and I'm using the MAC 24 hour eye base. It looks like this. And that'll just help the longevity of all your eyeshadow. I'm gonna go in with Fresh, like that um, beige matte color. Using a shader brush, I'm gonna go right underneath my brow bone. And I'm also gonna take that color and go right in the inner tear duct here. I'm just kind of smooth it out with my finger. Now I'm gonna go in with Twig, that kind of neutral brown, using a fluffy blending brush. This one is by MAC, it is a 217. I'm gonna go right along the lash line and into the crease. And I kinda of like to have a little point, kinda of like right in here. But I'll soften it so it's nothing too crazy. I just think it has a nice, um, lifting look to the eye. So what I found about this palette is that a little does go a long way. So I felt like I barely put any on my brush and I feel like I got a pretty um, dark for me crease color. So we're gonna keep it like that. And then for the lid, I'm actually gonna use my own face powder. So for my lid color, I'm gonna use my Jane Iredale face powder, my um, mineral face powder. I'm gonna go in with the shader brush again and just go right on the lid. And why I'm doing this is because it's a little bit darker than Fresh, that highlight color. And I wanted a matte lid color, at which the um, palette didn't have, so I just figured this will do, and it does, it works really good. Now for liner, I'm actually gonna make a really nice smoky liner. I'm gonna use this teeny tiny little shader brush. I'm gonna go in with Noir, the black color. I'm gonna go right on the corner I'm gonna just build it up a little bit. I'm gonna brush it into the crease so it's nice and gradient. You can actually probably leave it just like that too. I think that's really pretty. I've already done this side, so I'll make it match for today. Now I'm just using a fluffy brush again just to kind of blend everything out together. There's the eyeshadow. And now I'm gonna go and curl my lashes, put loads of mascara on. And this is by Charlotte Tilbury, if you're wondering which one I'm using. It's the Legendary 2 Lash. And for lashes, I'm gonna put on another shot of Wispy by Velour. I just bought these, I've never tried Velour lashes before. So, hopefully they look good. And 
And for blush, I'm gonna do Warm Soul by MAC. Of course I am, that's what I always go towards. So I was in Toronto last week where I went to the Inglot store and I picked up the Jennifer Lopez collection lipstick and it is in Dolce. So I'm going to put this on. And I'm going to put the Mineral Fusion lip liner in Elegant around it. And there you go, the first look is complete. Um, it's really, it's neutral, but it's kind of got that smoky sexiness to it on the eye, and then we kept it neutral throughout the rest of the face. So if you like this, continue watching for look number two. So to start, my eyes are already primed, and I'm gonna go in with Pearl, with just a small sheet of brush. Put that right underneath my brow bone, just really lightly. I don't need anything too heavy. Oh, <laughs> that's a little heavy. And now I'm going to go in with twig all over my lid. I'm going to use just a really fluffy um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm not being too precise with this because I'm going to go over it later. We're just kind of using this as a base. Buff it out with your finger if you feel like you need to. I always do. And using the same brush, I'm going to go in with Dystopian, the dark brown. And I'm going to go right on the outer part of the lid. right in the inner part. So we're gonna leave this part here um, with just that one color right now, that twig. So just as a warning as well, this is going to look worse before it gets better, but it'll all come together in the end. I'm gonna go in with Birch, that kind of orangey brown shade with um, a blending brush that you just kind of wiped off. I'm gonna go very lightly right in the crease, back and forth, to kind of buff out the colors. And this will just make the gradient from the dark to the light just a bit more subtle. I'm gonna darken up the inner and outer corner here, just a bit. And then using my finger, I'm gonna go in with Steampunk, it's like that rich gold. I'm gonna go right in the middle. I'm gonna use the blending brush just to kind of buff out the edges so it's not so stark. And then using a tiny little shader brush, I'm gonna go in with pearl again. And just go right in the inner corner. Whoops, it's a lot. And when I was in Toronto last week, I went to the Inglot store and I bought the gel eyeliner. I've heard nothing but good things. Oh, it has a little cover on it. Oh, <gasps> that was, that's really poor packaging on their part. If you didn't get what just happened, I just put my whole finger into the little pot because it has a little film on it. As I was trying to get it off, my finger just slipped right in there with that. So I'm just taking a little teeny tiny brush like this by MAC. Probably don't focus, there we go. With that Inglot liner, I'm going to be doing a very thin line. It does glide on really nice. And I'll do a teeny tiny little wing. Yeah. 
Using the tiny little shader brush again, I'm gonna go in with Dystopian. Go right underneath. Then I'm gonna go in with Steampunk and go right in the middle. I'm just gonna curl my lashes and then put some mascara on and I'll be right back. So as you can see, I have my mascara on, um, my top and bottom lashes, and I also put a little bit of eyeliner uh, in my waterline. And that was Coffee by MAC. So a nice rich brown. I'm gonna put some lashes on now. These are velour lashes in the style, another shot of Wispy. And for blush, I'm gonna use a cream blush. This is G-Spot by NARS. I hate saying that, it's that bad. And go right on the upper part of the cheek. And for lip, I'm using Double Time Lip Liner by MAC with Malibu Lipstick by Kelly Cosmetics. So on top of this lip look, I put Mineralized Lip Glass Be Nice by MAC. I just felt like it was a little gray on me for whatever reason, so. But there you go, this is the second look. I hope you enjoyed it, it's very, different from what I normally do um, every day. So I thought that you would kind of get inspired by this. I feel like it's very like Kim K 2015, which if you look back on her photos, I love her looks in that, in that year. So we will move on to look number three. So I'm going to put a little bit of fresh around the brow bone, like we did in the last few videos. And I'm using the brush that is straight from the palette this time because I felt like it should be given some love and it actually is pretty good quality for um, like a complimentary brush, I really like it. And for my crease, I'm gonna go in with Slate, so it's like that grayish color. And go right into my crease using the fluffy end of that complimentary brush that we got. I'm also going to take that color and just go right on the outer corner of the lashes and connect it to the crease. So it's kind of like an outer V or a P sign. And to warm up this look just a little bit more, I'm gonna use Birch, so kind of that orangey brown on the outer corner there. Same brush, and I just very, very lightly dipped it into the color. I'm gonna go right into the crease here. And that's just kind of like a transition shade. Doesn't make it so white and then gray. Kind of just all blends together nice. And now I'm going to go in with Noir, the black color. Same brush still, I did just wipe it off really quickly. Very lightly, because this stuff is highly pigmented. I'm going to go right on the lower lash line. Or sorry, I'm going to go right on the outer corner of the lashes. And buff it into the crease. And take your time with this, don't feel like um, you need to have it dark right away, build upon it. When you build, you are less likely to make mistakes. And for the center of my lid, I'm gonna go in with Cyborg, that really pretty silver color. I'm going to use the other side of the brush. I did clean it off. I'm gonna press in the product and Apply the shadow right on the lid. And this is so pigmented, it's super pretty. And then I'm going to just use the other end of the brush to blend it all out. Just on the outer corner of where you put the silver. And now I just dip my brush into Pearl. 
and I didn't wipe it off because I still want it to be really nice and silvery. So I'm going to just add that pigment right into the tear duct of the eye. And I'm going to go underneath the uh, lower lash line with a little bit of noir. Teeny tiny little bit. We're going to make this look quite smoky, but always start small and then build. So off camera, I put on some mascara. I use the JLo by Inglot. Um, and then I'm going to put on a little bit of blush by Tarte in the shade Brushing, Blushing Bride. It's really a nice little pink one. I'm going to go on the top of the cheeks. And for lips, I'm going to put on Double Time Lip Liner by MAC. And I'm going to put on a lip gloss by Buxom it called Rose Julep. I love this. So here's the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed this little series that I did. Um, I've done three daytime looks as well. I'll link that video below if you haven't seen it yet. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite look was, um, what you're going to use on yourself within this palette. Um, and if you like this video and you want to see more, of course, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.